What's up guys, Archer here and it's a new video. In this video we're gonna talk about how to use Vector3.angle. It's very useful, you can use it in many cases while you're making games, so Vector3.angle, to make it simple, it just calculate the angle between two directions. Okay, So if you want to calculate the angle between two directions, you just have to use Vector3.angle. Now, I'm gonna start by making uh, an example. Just make 3D cube, make a cube here and another 3D object cube. Now we have two cubes in our scene. Just reset the position of each of them. Okay, and we have two cubes right here. Okay, so now let's start. Uh, what we're gonna do here is calculate the angle between the forward direction, this forward direction, and this forward direction the forward direction for each one of those cube I will uh, calculate the angle between those two directions okay so let's start by making a new C-sharp script and call it anything just example and don't forget not to leave any spaces in this name because it will not work if you make any spaces in here and let's open the script in Visual Studio Visual Studio okay now uh, we're just going to calculate the angle between the two directions. So we have so we have to see our directions without selecting the cube. We have to select the cubes to see the forward direction and this is not very good for us because if we rotate it like that, you can't see the forward direction if you just uh you can see it like that but you know, you just have to see that forward direction um to rec recognize our forward direction very easily. So to do that, we have to draw a ray from uh, this point to the forward direction, as well as this from here to here. So to get the position of each one of those, we have to get the transforms of each one. So just make a public transform in here. Public transform, transform one. And here as well, we're going to make public transform, transform two. And let's assign each one of those. Uh, we didn't assign our C# -sharp script to any of those objects, so just assign it to any object you want, like that. Okay, didn't assign. Let's assign it in here. Okay. Now let's uh, drag and drop every one of those in every slot of the slot uh, of this slot. So the first uh, cube in the first slot, and the and the second one in the second slot. So we have our transforms. So now we're gonna just make a debug dot log uh, dot uh, draw ray. Sorry about that. The draw ray. And it takes two values. The first one is the position, which is t1, the position for the first cube, and a direction which is forward direction, which we we which what uh, which what we need here. So t1 dot forward direction dot forward, and we can use a color. So uh, if we didn't assign any color, it will be white. But we need to see it more clearly. So I'm gonna make it color dot red, and let's save that and go back to Unity and with a little and play our game. And now go back to our scene. Let's go back to our scene. And as you can see, we have our uh, ray. So if we don't have, if you don't have that ray, you just have to enable this gizmos. You just have to enable it. You will have it and enabled, so you have to enable it. Now, as you can see, it's very small. It's one unit. So we have to make it like four units or something to see it more clearly. So to make that happen, you just have to multiply the forward direction by any amount you want by four as example and it will be four units now let's make the same thing uh, for the for the t2 and just like that okay let's see let's play our game again and you will find that we have to raise everyone each everyone is four units and uh yeah and it's it's in the forward direction so we have like that, that like that so if we rotate that you will find that the forward direction is updating with us. Very easy. So now 
let's reset every one of those cubes reset this one and reset this one we have two cubes over each other okay so now let's see how we can calculate the angle between the two forward directions of uh, the cubes so the syntax is very easy you just have to type vector 3 dot angle and just it has it it must have uh two two um two two um you know two values the first one is vector three and the second one is vector three it's a direction and another direction so the first direction will be our forward direction for the first cube and then the second one will be the second direction for the second cube so t1 dot forward this is our first direction and t2 dot forward which is the second direction so we have to calculate the angle between the second direction and the f and uh, the first direction very si very easy so this returns a value and we have to use it so we we will not use it right now we'll just print it out in the console to see the value and we're gonna make an example at the first of this video uh, of how we can use it in a real game now we're gonna uh, debug.log the value of the angle between the two directions just play the game and open the scene and go to the console it's zero and why it's zero I'll tell you why it's zero because the two lines they are over each other okay they are in the same place so now if we rotate one of the cubes you see that the angle it's now 16 between those two directions now if we just make it like 90 we can make it 90 like that like that okay oh I d uh, wait a second wait a second just we have to read it in this in this direction okay or any direction you want just uh, I, I'm explaining it in one one direction one in, in uh, like a to do a 2d game it will be like that now we are just rotating our cube in this direction it's now near to 90 if we make this 90 it will be 90 okay symbol as that okay so now um, we can uh, see the the angle between these two or those two um, directions so how can we use this in a practical example how can we use our angle uh, how can we get a benefit uh, usage from from it so uh, it's very easy just um, I will tell you uh, my example here my example will be like that we have a player so this is a player and we have an enemy okay so we have enemy and the player okay just like that and our enemy the idea our enemy can't see the player or can't see him so how can we indicate indicate if the enemy can see the player or not we just have to calculate an angle the angle will be will be like that the first angle will be in the forward direction okay and uh, the first direction I, I, I mean that the angle will be between two directions sorry the angle will be between two directions the first one will be the forward direction which is one which is this one and it's the forward direction of the enemy not the player okay because we are uh, looking for the for the enemy sight ha can he see the player or not not the not the opposite one we just need the to see if the enemy see the player or not so to see that to to know if he can see him or not we have to calculate an angle between this direction the forward direction of the enemy and this direction okay this direction if we move that in here will be this direction if we move that in here it will be this direction the direction between the two the the enemy and the player you get the point so now how can we get these two directions the first one which is the forward direction of the enemy it's very easy we did it before right here the T uh, the t1 dot forward or the t2 uh, let's make this enemy right now enemy and this will be 
our player okay so now we're gonna just um, make our first direction which is this one the enemy uh, forward enemy dot forward the forward direction of the enemy so draw ray from enemy dot position to enemy dot forward let's just commit this right now debug dot log the angle between the the um, the enemy dot forward which is this direction and now we have to get the second direction so how can we get the direction between those two objects so to get direction a direction between two points it's very easy let's explain it right here we have a first point and second point and we need to calculate this direction the direction can be like that or like that so let's say it was like that how can we calculate it we have to get the first point the first point which is this one this is the first point the first point or the start point as you can uh, as you want to say it okay so this is the end point and this is the start point now to calculate this direction we have to sub subtract the first one uh, the the start position or the start point from the end point like that e end point minus the start point so the end point minus the start point will give you the direction if the direction was like that this will be our start point and this will be our end point so it's the opposite so if you want to get it you just have to do the same thing the end point minus the start point now we want to get that direction in that direction from the enemy to the player so the player is the end point and the enemy is the start point we have to get every one of them now we have to calculate this direction we just have to uh, make it uh, to just make vector 3 direction and let's assign this direction right here direction will be the end point minus the start point the end point is the player so player dot position player dot position sorry player dot player dot position and now minus the enemy which is the third point the position now we have our direction ready to use now we have to uh, to make this direction uh, you can see it to be able to see this direction so just uh, and instead of using draw ray I'm gonna use draw line and the difference between draw ray and draw line is draw ray takes a start point and a direction between uh, but the the draw line it takes a start point and an end point so here start point and direction for draw ray and draw line start point and end point so the start point will be our enemy and the end point will be our player just like that so now we have to draw line from the enemy the position to the player player the position the position not the forward the position and we have to more to get rid of this uh, multiplication and now we have to use this direction in here the direction this direction which is this one okay now let's see our angle let's see the angle okay we have a problem here let's see okay we didn't uh, we must add uh, another parentheses because okay to close this one okay so now we have to save everything and go back here and um, now we have to play play our game okay another another one oh we didn't assign our variables which is the the enemy we must assign the enemy to the enemy and the player to the player okay now let's play it again okay so this is the angle between this one and this one which is 51 okay 51 now it's 30 or oh, it's 27 27 right now it's 30, 46 and as you can see it it's different each time you move the player and if you uh, rotate your enemy it now can look at the player and the, the 
the angle will be updated as well so now we have to do something just we have to say that if our player was at uh, if the angle was uh, was bigger than 60 the pl the enemy can't see the player but if it was 60 or less than 60 the enemy can see the player and when he see him he can attack him or whatever you want when he sees him you can do whatever uh, you want him to do so how to do that just it's like that you have to make an if statement very simple very simple if if this value of the angle in degrees was less than or equal to 60 now we can debug dot log attack okay so now we have debug dot log attack so you can just uh, open the game and when the player when the the angle will be less or equal or less than 60 uh, the enemy will see the player and then yeah it's uh, he now sees him because the angle is li is less or equal to 60 now he d he is not printing he's not printing out anything as you see because the angle is more than 60 is bigger than 60 now attack and again it's very simple like that and now um, instead of saying attack you just you can use your own code your own functionality you can just uh, use the AI unity engine.ai and use the navigation system and make the the enemy follow the player and attack him and all of that stuff and okay that's it for this video thanks guys for watching hope you did enjoy it if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you're new here in this channel and see you in the next video.